Hi, my name is Fagy Kobri. Welcome to Creative Inking. This video is going to be about Yupo paper, exactly what it is and how the alcohol inks works with it. This is Yupo paper. Yupo paper is the substrate, the background of choice for most people that use alcohol inks. The reason for that is that alcohol inks need a non-porous surface and that's what Yupo paper is. It's a plasticized paper so that the ink does not get absorbed into it. It comes in many different sizes. The most common are the 8x10. This is the 11 by 14. Uh, very often when I'm doing classes and I want to um, just give them smaller pieces, I end up cutting these in four and then it comes about a five by seven. So it's much more cost effective to use this cut up. Um, they also have these in very large sizes. You can buy them separately. There are alcohol ink artists that do huge wall um, wall portraits, well, not just portraits, wool are using the Yupo paper. Um, okay, another kind of Yupo paper is translucent Yupo paper. It's basically see-through, not totally see-through. It's translucent and it's just like a much prettier type of paper. They also have um, this heavy duty for people who are really seriously into art on Yupo, they have the heavy duty. I don't have a video of it, but this is what it looks like. Here's the picture of it. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I chose one color. This is um, watermelon. It's a red. And I'm going to show you how the inks react on the different paper not just Yupo so I'm going to I have a I cut a piece of uh, plain Yupo paper um, you could do it on either side I cut a piece of the translucent Yupo paper and then to show you the difference I also have three other papers I have three other types I have a, a, a small canvas a piece of canvas I have watercolor paper and I have Bristol board. Bristol board is a smooth surface. It's very often used for mixed media, but it is porous. So it normally, um, you can't use it with alcohol links. I mean, you could use it. It doesn't work the same way. So I'm going to show you the different ways that the inks react. Okay. So I'm going to start with the watermelon. I'm just going to give one drip and you'll see how it doesn't absorb get absorbed basically so if you notice it's sitting on top and it's slowly spreading out some colors spread out more than others but this also has the ability we can turn it like this and it drips and there are very various blowing implements you can use that will also make it move um, it just spreads and spreads. It doesn't get absorbed in. Um, the second piece, we're going to use the translucent Yupo now. We're going to do the same thing. It's just spreading out. Spreading. You see those little things? It's Again, I could make it go like that. Um, and one of the, what, what's really nice about Yupo paper also, if you put, it's not just Yupo paper, it's the inks. If you put another drop on top of the inks, look how cool that is. And you can keep dropping. It dries very quickly also. It looks wet. And it is wet, but it dries extremely quickly. Not like regular paint. Um, the next thing I'm going to use is, is the canvas, okay? Let's look at the canvas now. It 
spread out a little bit, but it doesn't really keep moving because it's going inside the inside the canvas. So there's no ability to really work with it. It's becoming part of the canvas, you see. The next one, a piece of watercolor paper. This immediately got absorbed. This is the most obvious. It just went right in. So it's not like you can't use it. It's just you're not getting the, the full benefits of uh, what the Yupo paper does with the inks. This one is the Bristol board. This is the last one, the Bristol board. Again, I'm going to drip. Same. This also went in immediately. So if you look at okay I have to show you something interesting before we finish this demonstration I tried on this piece of yuko paper a few different colors because usually when I work with the inks they really just spread really beautifully and they just none of them are really spreading that much so I took a piece of this is what people use sometimes instead of Yupo paper because it is cheaper. It's Kirkland photo paper. You see there's a shiny side and there's a matte side. I want you to see what happens when I use it on the matte side. This is what I love about the Yupo paper usually and I don't know why it's spreading. Look how that spreads. Now the idea is that it doesn't go into the paper and you're able to move it around, but I love, because the way I always start projects is by dripping, and I just love that spreading. Here, one more color. Is that not cool, how it spreads out? And for some reason, it's not spreading it out on the Yupo paper. Now you can move it around on the Yupo paper, Maybe this lets you move it around better with blowing techniques than this. I don't know. I guess it's just going to need more uh, experimentation. But just look at the difference with the Yupa paper and the Kirkland photo paper on the matte side. Matte side. So if you like this video, like the video, share it, and please subscribe to my channel right below so you don't miss any more videos coming up from Creative Inking on Alcohol Inks.